guess I know this feeling is just the beginning. I'm shooting into the position of a ritual. Hear the call, residual lights hitting the wall. I'm shooting into another you coming through. It's a lyrical, spiritual you. So rock to the rhythm of a new low and let your body drift to the sky. What we believe is now true enough, and what we perceive is not a lie. is not a lie you could light me on fire and you could kill me in my sleigh you could call me a liar and you could bury me deep with your weapons of desire and your hurts of sheep what would never expire is a conscious freedom running deep in my own heart Taking a slightly different way in today. This isn't where I normally park, but this is uh, very close to where I need to be. I think I can hide the bike here somewhere. I haven't got much to carry. Warning, you are entering a dangerous area. I wasn't planning to come out here until next week, but the bedroom is at a critical stage and until it's fully shored up, it's still at risk of collapse. Plus, I think I now have the perfect technique figured out for pushing the board back into position. I think it's gonna work. You've got to be an optimist when you're this committed. Scary. Just another, another cave in. So it's the same thing, but it's gone in a bit deeper. Whatever's left there, I will pack it in with sandbags. So not exactly that bothered. I mean, this thing is built to to withstand anything like that. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I'm not going to clear that cave in. What I'm going to do is. Here's the cut I was making, I'm up to about here. I'm gonna finish that off. 
and then sledgehammer it and hopefully I can still sledgehammer it, tap it in, even with all that crap now resting on it, I can still tap it in. This is how far I've got to go now. Not very far at all. Obviously all the sledgehammering and the vibration is not doing the earth any favours. I like that side. I'm just going to tap it on this side. See this? There's only an inch or two more of the board left to knock in. It's gone almost as far as it needs to go. I know it's not easy to see. Obviously this is how far I've dug this evening. Great result. The board is finally in place. It's far enough back that I can build the third and final support under it. It's now flush with the front of the 2x3 on the first support all the way along. It's, it's sprung up a bit because it's, um, it's obviously resting on the second support and then at the back it's being it's kind of been pushed down as it goes under the earth um, which is not a bad thing because that means at the very back it's pushing up against the earth so obviously I'll build that third support hard up against it. Here what I'm going to do is cut a bit of pallet with the right length, place it along there where my boot is and just screw that down, I'm going to do that right now. I've got the post nice and vertical, I haven't checked it, but fuck it, you don't need a fucking spirit level for stuff like this, do you know what I mean? Um, that's it, that's the, that is the last challenging bit of engineering, and that is the last bit of, um, well, hard work I was going to say, but I've got to dig that out. like having a little bit of a fall. Pretty exciting stuff. That's as good as it's gonna get with those I think. I'm pretty happy with that. I've got them in pretty tight and that. Uh, I've got this front layer here which isn't really supporting the um, the wall much. It's just holding the, the bags back in. Uh, so I'm already thinking long term what I could do is get a bit of ply board coming up from there cut it into the wall there and, and behind me and then bring it up to about a nice seat height and have like a seat in the in the back in the corner of the room and it will cover up that completely horrendous situation I've got going on there. It's gonna be the first thing you see when you walk through the door. Oh hey man how you doing? Oh fucking hell that looks dangerous. I want to encourage other people to, to think hey you know living in the woods in a hole in the ground looks like a really great idea you know and if it looks dangerous then uh a lot of people are going to stick with their houses, regardless of how much you save on the rent. I took a break from digging the bedroom to cut and fit a couple more 2x4s that will now form the trapdoor entrance to the bedroom. Looks curved due to the lens on the camera, but I assure you, it's flat level. Later my heart sank as I was digging, when I noticed the back of the ceiling board was badly bowing. I dropped everything and dug a channel into the centre of the back wall and immediately began cutting the sturdiest log I had into a support. Put a piece of 2x4 on the bottom to stop it sinking. At this point I really thought I'd gone too far. That's it really. I mean it's, it's not going to get any worse now, although I've probably said that quite a few times already. Basically the main bit of the bow has been taken out, it's still lower in the middle than it is at the corner. There we go anyway, so... Let's 
just about long enough to lie down in that post there. What a fucking ridiculous idea this was. The last thing I did before packing up was to knock an off-cut piece of 2x3 into the top of the support and another smaller piece into each corner. That's all I can do for now. I'll come back in a few days and although I'm expecting the whole lot to sink, hopefully it'll only be a few inches. We'll see. Babylon isn't so much a physical place we need to escape from as it is a state of mind. It's the comfortable illusion that everything will take care of itself if we just carry on as normal. Household recycling, carbon neutrality, sustainably sourced, even choosing a bicycle over some gas-guzzling monstrosity. These are just pressure relief valves. As long as we can feel like we're doing more than the next guy or girl, it becomes someone else's problem, and we never reach that critical tipping point. Babylon provides these pressure relief valves knowing full well the best way for them to control the so-called opposition is to lead it themselves. Now I'm not saying everyone needs to drop what they're doing and start hunting for a secret area in their local wood to begin construction. This is just what I can do because I have the time, the skill set and the willingness. The revolution looks different in everyone it touches. What I'm trying to get across is don't get comfortable with your present level of awareness and think you've made it. That is the death of the revolution and Babylon knows it.